everyone. Myself, I am Uma and I have overall eight plus years of IT experience as a data analyst and four years of experience as a corporate trainer. I'm a Microsoft certified data analyst currently working at Microsoft. Hi everyone. Welcome to KSR Data Vision YouTube channel. In today's session, we will try to learn about few functions that is count rows, count, count distinct and count blank. OK. So I'll be giving walkthrough on this data set. So this is my bikes data where I have for different regions, all the different regions you can see from here and all the different countries, different countries, different customers, the different business segments, category of the bikes, different bike uh, categories, models, colors, and the sales date, list price, unit price, order quantity. Okay, this is the data you have. That is the bikes data. And now I want to know the complete rows, complete records in this table. What is the count of the records which you can see at the bottom, right? The, at the bottom you can see the total rows, records or rows, both are same. Total you can see at the bottom for the complete data set. So that count I want to have. For that I'll try to create one measure. So new measure, the first function is count rows. So I am writing count rows. OK, so for this we do have a function direct function which is count rows function. This function it will count the number of rows in a table. So what is our table bikes table? So I'm just giving the table name. Now it will return the total number of rows in this table. So I'll take a card here and I will just use this measure count rows. OK, so this will give exact value if I want. I can go to format visual in that call out value instead of auto units. I can give none. So exact value I can see here. How many rows are there in my table? That is my bikes table. Fine. This is on the complete table. It is giving me the number of rows. Now. I'll come back to this data view here. You can see the table okay here also you can see that values total how many rows are there the same one you are seeing here right so this measure this function count rows function is giving you the total rows now i'll take this color column okay so different bikes and uh, the different colors you can see here and in this color column if you see you have multiple colors, right? Yellow, white, silver, black, silver, red, multi, blue, black and blank. Blank also you have. If I uncheck this and if I check only blank, you can see so many blank values are there, right? Around 5,226 uh, 5, blank values you are seeing here. Also, if you exclude that blank, you select all the colors and you exclude the blank. You can see 55,651 values. All the colors excluding that blank values. If you select all. You will see this 60,877. So now I want all this count. Count of this values in the color column as well as excluding the blank distinct values. Also, I want distinct colors. How many colors we have? So this is nothing but distinct colors in this the complete column. If you take the values will get repeated, right? Red means it will repeat it multiple times. Black, it will be repeated. Null also you can see multiple values in the blank. OK, now let's try to create some measures which will give me those values as well. Now I want to see. Count of values in that. Color column, so for that I will try to create one measure new measure that is count colors okay total colors so for that i am using just count function so what this will do it will count the numbers in a given column so what is my column name color column so i'm just selecting that i'll click on enter now i'll take one more card to show you this value that is my count colors. Here also you are seeing around 56,000. 
So here also I'll give none, display units none so that you can see. So the total values in that colors column, you are able to see this many values. Okay. This is the count. But from this 60,877, why you are seeing only 55,656? Because it is excluding the blanks. If you see here, the overall is 60,877, but that is the total number of rows, right? So even the color values also, you will get the same value. But why you are not getting that and why you are getting only 55,651? Because the count function, it is counting the values in the column, but it is excluding the blank values. Remember that it is excluding blank values. That is why you are only seeing 55,651. Okay. Now, how many blanks are there? If I want to count that, what I can do? I can create one more measure. So, I will try to create one more measure, which will only give me the blank values count. Count blanks in color column. So I'm using some function called count blank. So what is my column name? Color column. So I'll just give that and I'll close it. Now I'll take one card and I'll show you the blank. Okay, now if you see, this is the blank values. Number of blank values in the color column. Now, I want to see distinct colors, not the number of values in the color column, but what are the distinct values I have in that? I just want to see that. For that, again, I'm trying to create one more new measure. That is count distinct colors. So for that, I'm using a fun function called count distinct count. Okay, so this is the distinct count and here if you see it will give count the number of distinct values in a column. So I will take this bikes of color and I will give enter. So now I will take one more card to represent that distinct colors. If you see nine you are getting. Total nine colors you are getting means it is including that null as well. How many times the colors are repeating? How many times the colors are repeating? Only once it is picking for each color. Let's take red is repeating multiple times. Some thousand times or two thousand times. It will only consider only one. Okay, distinct values will be even. It is including the null as well. If you go and see here, this is the color, right? You can even count here. Yellow, white, silver, black. And if you count this, you will see nine values, including the blank it is counting and giving the distinct value. Okay, this is about your count rows and this is about count. Count rows is basically counting the number of rows in the table. Count function, it is counting the number of values in that column. Here we picked the colors column and it is giving the complete values, but it is excluding the null values. And that is blank values it is excluding. And if you want to only see how many blank values are there, you can use this count blanks. And if you want to see only the distinct values in that column, you can go and use this count distinct function. Okay, so these are the few functions and difference between all these functions. Okay. So I'll come up with some more tax functions in the next video and thanks for watching this. Please do like, share and subscribe to KSR Data Vision for more updates. Thank you.